Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gloria Bell, and I know it's been a couple weeks since I did a video, and then coming out with this that you see in the title right here, um, I guess we have to have a little chit chat, and I will be explaining what the title means. Um, I'm not going to be cutting through corners or anything like that. I want to be straightforward with what I'm about to say. If you have been following me on social media, especially Instagram, um, you know that this weekend I talked about some decisions that I've been having to make for quite a while. Um, and it was a tough weekend. <laughs> I'm going to say that. I'm just going to start there. It was a tough weekend. So, And I'm not somebody who likes to talk about too personal things, but I think this is something that everybody goes through when you're in a Christian path and um, and you're, you're a true believer or if you're trying to um, believe in God or whatever. It is a process that you go through um, and it is something that I've been needing to do for quite a while. Um, I'm gonna say it right here. I'm not gonna stop Beautify with Love all the way but um i am going to be focusing more on music and what god called me to do because i feel like i feel like it's been a couple of years and i have the calling but i think this year i don't even know how to say it <laughs> i think this year i realized how big of the calling it was so, I think, and it's not that Beautify with Love was detaining me, but in a way it was, because I've been so concentrated on doing content with beauty-related stuff, which I could still do, but it was something that shouldn't have been my priority. Um, but I know it's because God does things perfectly, so... In a way, it was good that I did this because if you know where Beautify with Love comes from, it comes from stepping away from a big darkness. And and it comes from loving yourself. But for me to do that, but for me to do that, um, for anybody to do that, you have to be in such a spiritual level um, because it is not easy. Uh, I never speak about this, but I stepped out of depression when I was, um, well, I struggled with depression when I was around 18 years old and um, that's where Beautify With Love started developing. Um, and it helped me out a lot. So I never, I will never say that it was blocking my path because it actually helped me um it helped me value myself and as a person but now that I'm in this part of my life I feel like I have to do other things other than just makeup um and maybe have a different type of connection with God because I think we always go through um faces with God when you're knowing him and that's something we were talking about yesterday you know it's in, like bits and pieces of God and you you don't truly know him but in order for you to know him completely slowly um or better yet let me explain it better in order for you to create that relationship you have to make tough decisions you have to say God just take over my path and he gives you the anointing and opens your eyes to what he really wants for you and sometimes we can't say I like doing this so I'm gonna do this sometimes we have to say God it's not what I like but what I should be doing what my purpose is so that's basically what made me take the decision um, I was struggling this weekend a little bit with that darkness again, <laughs> but it, I knew it didn't come from from me. It was because um, I, I'm not gonna say I was distracted because I've I've been I think I 
been the closest to God in this period of time. But I'm a worshiper. And when you stop doing your purpose and you want to come back again, the enemy doesn't like that. So um, I was very attacked. And, and I'm grateful that I have a family that helped me step out of this. And oh my God. <laughs> okay. So, um, and I have a husband who really has my back and, and you know, and God is opening doors and I want to share this part of my life with you guys. And I think even though I can do beauty stuff, I want to also share this part of my life with you guys because I know there's a lot of you out there who struggle with this, especially in, in this time. A lot of people struggle with depression in church. And um, and sometimes we have to be careful with how we speak about this because it's very controversial. But it does happen. And it's not that we're weak spiritually or anything. The enemy saying that I'm walking in the right path and, and he will do that. He will do that. But you have to be ready for for it and be strong and have faith and know that you have the power to to say no I am a child of God and and I have a purpose I have a purpose in life and um, I feel like I went off from what I was gonna say <laughs> um, but yeah that's basically it um, I do have another YouTube page that I open and some of you will say like why didn't you just change the name for Beautify Will Love to your name but um, so I want to keep blogging and doing some beauty stuff here and but I will be bringing some lifestyle stuff so I'm excited for that and then on my other channel I will be of course incorporating music I started something called Bible journaling so I'm excited for that I ordered some supplies and I'm supposed to get them today. So that's going to be soon. Um, so I encourage you to follow me on that page. I'm going to put it um, down here in the description box. And it's not the end. God has a purpose for everybody. And honestly, it's like a weight lifted off. So um, I hope this inspires you guys. There's still a lot that I have to talk with you guys. But I don't want to make this video super long. I just felt like I needed to explain. It's been... I've been with the Beautify with Love for so many years, and um, and I know I have you guys who follow me, and I don't want it to seem weird when I start uploading different content. This is tough because I've never done this, um, but I think it's time. It's time, and I'm excited, and my website, I did change it a little bit. I kept the Beautify with Love, but it's going to be in another section, so when you do enter it... Um, definitely subscribe. I'm going to keep a section specifically for beauty and for taking care of yourself because that is part of spirituality. You have to take care of yourself to be able to take care of others. And also, uh, I don't have any content over there, but if you want to go ahead and subscribe, I'm going to start uploading content hopefully next week. And for those of you who know, I'm also in the 3D Worship Ministries. Um, we have an Instagram page. We opened a YouTube, but we haven't made anything yet. Um, it's in the works. We are starting to record some covers, so I'm excited to share that with you guys. And some of them all record solo, so that's going to be fun. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll see you guys next time. I love you guys. Don't forget to beautify the love. Bye.